Now, for more on the impact of the earthquake on Chile's economy, we turn to a specialist on Latin America. She's Susan Siegel, president and CEO of the America Society and the Council of the Americas. Thank you very much for joining us on the program. Thank you for inviting me. So we just saw a piece about how uh, the country's copper industry played a major role um, after the global economic recession. Will revenue from the copper industry uh, help in the aid effort in this massive earthquake? Absolutely. Since um, really the early 90s, Chile's had an offshore copper stabilization fund where a number uh, of the revenues from copper actually flow. So during the world economic crisis, um, the offshore fund was used to fund some of the fiscal stimulus. And I'm certain that some of the offshore copper stabilization revenues will also be used uh, to help the reconstruction after this devastating earthquake. Mm. What was the state of the economy before the earthquake? The state of the economy was very strong. Uh, Chile has been growing for a number of years. Um, and in 2009, its decline was very small, um, maybe 1.5% to plus 0.7% growth. And it was due to grow, uh, return to growth in 2010 of between 5 and 5.5%. 5 and, and I actually think that Chile will grow quite substantially in 2010 because while the impact of the uh, earthquake will be felt in the first quarter, maybe the second, clearly um, reconstruction from the earthquake will have a stimulating effect on the economy and investment will create jobs and, and create growth. Mm. Talk a little bit about how you think uh, the government in this time of crisis is dealing with the devastation. Are there any sort of points of comparison, for example, with, with the earthquake in Haiti? I think the government in Chile is dealing with the crisis quite well. Um, it was a devastating earthquake, 8.8 .8 on the scale. And uh, they did have plans to focus because er Chile has been prone to earthquakes. Remember 1960 and then 1985. They had two previous earthquakes. And so they've come in and they've started to assess the damage. And they've deployed their own resources. And now for the first time, they're asking for some international help um, as they assess the damage. But I think they've done a good job overall. Right. Yeah. And just very briefly, we know that a new president is going to be sworn in later on this month. Um, how can the government prepare for the transition in a time of crisis effectively? Uh, the morning after the election, they had breakfast together. So um, I think that this obviously uh, will be the focal point of both the outgoing government and the incoming government. Um, but I think that the transition will go on smoothly and on schedule. All right, Susan Siegel, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.